Little Pickaholics. Okay, I've been meaning to make this for a while because I really want to enter Tinny's giveaway. That penny padlock that he made from scratch is amazing. And what he asked for to see was our EDCs. So I have a couple things here because I have my professional EDC for when I'm out working and what I carry every single day. Uh, I won this from the lock picker 1969 in one of the giveaways with some other stuff. It's just a little pocket knife and it works and no, I don't like it. It's too small and it doesn't hold the picks real well. Even when it's tight, you can still just move them around and, but in a pinch, I've picked locks with it. So you never know. For the most time, for the most part, out in the real world, anything will get you in. I used to have a nicer one um, that I really liked, but I lost the screw, so the tips would waver all the time. So, on my van, this is what I carry. I have a Lishi SC4, uh, which I'm getting the hang of it, and I enjoy this, and it's nice, but decoding is problematic because... Uh, I have not been able to do it correctly because it never equals to the correct key every single time. Uh, this is my main pick set that I carry all the time. Right hand plug spinner. You can see that this has been around for a while. I think it needs a new one. Uh, my favorite pick, the right hand DeForest. I always carry those. Peterson. 10 thousandths or 15 thousandths. I carry it only because I do uh, one of the Y tension wrenches. I always carry spiral key extractors. I was trying to make, I made some windshield wiper ones for the Chris Capoon style that actually, that's a professional made one. And this is a Chris Capoon one. Let's see if we can get those in shot at the same time. Chris Capoon is way nicer than this one. It's uh, just steel. And I got some of the little steel and just put the bends in the ends and I love it like this. Uh, decoder. The covert decoder with the notched, which you can see <laughs> I'm a little harsh on tools. I always care carry Bogota, triple, triple Peak Bogota, and the worm, which I don't like. I can't, nothing opens with it. Uh, deep Euro hook that you can see is showing signs of the Sparrow, Sparrow's uh, built in. A uh, couple of top of the keyways, and there's some missing out of here. I'm missing my favorite bottom tension wrench. Uh, sparrow shell hook. Let's get that out of the way. My secondary bag carries a bit of other stuff in it, which is all the stuff that I don't care for. Oh, there's my wrench. This is my favorite wrench. This is an HPC rigid with a twist. So one end's twisted, one end square. This is what I use bottom of the keyway 99% of the time. If I need to, I switch to top of the keyway. In here, I have the Peterson i tools, which are, they work sometimes, and sometimes they don't. I'm hit or miss with them, and I don't really like them. Uh, La Lock tools, skeleton key set for warded locks. That is supposed to be in there. Another one of the DeForest. A different handled right hand DeForest. A double peak Bogota, which I, I just love Bogotas. Uh, and then all of the Peterson junk, which I don't care for. Uh, one of my uh, Matt's lock pit, he made these, sent me two of them. I love this little tiny tension wrench. You'll see me using it in videos. I've got a Sparrows goat wrench for the other stuff. Uh, backup wide tensioner, which I use these on mailbox locks all the time because of the dust shutters. 
Uh, oh, that's where it went. <laughs> Everything's in the wrong box. I wonder why. Uh, a couple more of the backup sparrows and just uh, an assortment of the Peterson. I don't use the Peterson. I don't like them, um, but I do use them. Uh, but they are, you can see, starting to bend, and I don't use them very often. Um, I just don't like the feedback on Peterson. Uh, that's just my opinion. So, these are my, this is my EDC, this went a little bit longer. So this is what I have on a daily basis on me when I work. Uh, so and this is for Tinny's 200 subscriber giveaway uh, for that beautiful handmade penny padlock. Tinny, the best, uh, and Tinny is beer canning bushcraft as I think we all tend to know nowadays, but just to confirm that. Uh, so wish you the best, Tinny. And congratulations on the 200, and this is my entry. Thank you, guys. We'll see you on the next one.